Well, that doesn't seem good. This is where I'm supposed to meet her, and there's just three cloaked individuals. Hooded individuals. And I really don't think this is going to go well. Because once again, you gave me no health at all. Also, can we uh, say that I like that they look a little bit like the Anarlum? I don't know if that's intentional, but I, uh, I like it. Man, having my... Okay, it's not really helping me too, too much right now, but having... The Ancestor's Wrath is helpful. It is burning them alive. It is the little bonus that I need right now. It... Whew, way too close. Way, way, way too close. For the record, I'm playing on Adept difficulty, and it's very tempting to bump it down because of the extreme detriment to my health bar. That two-faced scrib humping. Oof. Uh, there doesn't seem to be too many more of them, or any more of them, rather. For the moment. But it appears that she has taken objection to our plans. This is good. It merely proves that Quentin's suspicions were correct. They are more capable than I expected, finding the illusion that covers the entrance. I shall have to look into this more later. But enough. Do you still have the runestone with you? Oh, the runestone. I sold it for Skuma. No, I got it. Excellent. Then we should move quickly. Follow me. The bodies can stay where they lie. Do they... Let the wolves take care of them. Do they have anything on them? Let me check real quick. Oh, that's the wolf. Ebony dagger. Okay. Ebony dagger. It's weird, because it's showing that they have three, but then when I actually go to take them, it's only two. Seems like a weird UI glitch. Oh, she's not with me yet. Uh, Veldrin? Veldrin? Unless she already came down here on her own. No, not yet. She's still upstairs. She'll be here any minute, right? Maybe I need to wait for her to come inside. There you are. Whatever its origins, this thing is powerful indeed. Even now, there's a faint echoing coming from the surface. Do you know what to do with it? Not yet. But I have not come this far to give up now. What at first seemed inert could prove to be more of a weapon, but I will have to study it thoroughly to be sure. This may take some time, however. Pass me that book over there. Quickly now! Leaning against the wall nearby, you watch as Veldrin pours over her notes, muttering as she occasionally taps the runestone, prodding, even whispering to it. There is little response at first, but soon, a ringing begins to gradually increase in volume, worming its way into your skull, leaving you restless. Still, Veldrin shows no hint of breakthrough, and dismisses you after a time scowling at the slightest interruption. You leave the dumber behind, and step outside to get some fresh air. Ah, air. Feels good. I swear to God, if she's dead. Okay, whew. Not dead. I worry about that with everyone I meet nowadays. You return? Yeah, you kind of shushed me out of here. Have you made any progress? I have indeed. At first, I theorized that the runestone acted as an anchor of sorts. A way to pull the Anolum from whatever hole she languishes in. This soon proved to be incorrect, however, as the runestone offered no hint of containing any kind of interplanar abilities. The next conclusion was perhaps a weapon of sorts. Some way to draw upon the power that's within the stone. But it proved to be equally stubborn, revealing nothing in my attempts to tap its source. If its power is magical in nature, then it is unlike anything I, or perhaps anyone, has ever seen. So what does it do? I believe it is a key. To what? Well, that is a different matter. 
How do we find where it goes? Fortunately, that has proven to be more fruitful. I cannot pinpoint an exact location yet, but it seems to be in the northeast. Winterhold? Even beyond, perhaps. With time, I should be able to pinpoint where this key will lead. Excellent. Then let's move. Not so hasty. I want to see that Swit pay for what she has done. But we are dealing with a being that no one has ever truly faced. Let alone defeated. And what are you suggesting? You are quite an accomplished traveler. Mm. Certainly to have survived Quentin's often reckless pursuits, even without the mark. Despite either of our abilities, however, charging into whatever awaits us will no doubt prove to be the end for both of us. If there are any allies you can call on, now is the time. Once we enter wherever this leads, there is no guarantee we'll be able to return. I'll see what I can do. Good. You should also see to any other business before we do this. In the meantime, I will remain here and continue studying it to see what we can learn of it. When you are ready, return here, and we can begin the trek northwards. Minor quality of life thing. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Stepping out of the cave, you suddenly feel your heart stop within your chest. Within the blink of an eye, you fall, catching your hand against the cliff face to keep balance. Sweat lines your forehead as you struggle to breathe up pressure, twisting and contorting through your body. After what seems like eons, the sensation gradually begins to fade, but your body feels lessened by the attack. And you know exactly who and what it is from. I was going to say minor thing, I really wish this location was marked. I wish there was a, you know, a marker, a map marker right here. Given the fact that it's literally just a little cave, an unmarked cave, nondescript, just in the middle of the plains. I am backing up, that way I can actually mark this on my map. Boom. Boom. Because otherwise I'm never going to find it. Ruptured? Do I have less health? You feel as if part of you is already dead. Simple actions becoming more difficult. You have to be shitting me. Oh my god. <sighs> I guess I should level up some more before we do this because wow. That is really just, to me, incredibly rough for the player. To me, that is incredibly punishing to the player. And I don't entirely know why it is so in your face about it. Well, I got myself to level 14. I have armor to really, really increase my health. We were down to 60 health, and between leveling and armor, I'm now up to 150. So, I guess you would say the equivalent of five levels into health above the default if I didn't have all the debuffs. That makes sense to you guys, right? Now, I know I've already said it, but I'm just gonna repeat myself once more. I know the mod author doesn't want to use map markers, or rather doesn't want to use quest markers, but not having a quest marker for the unmarked location for this quest is just not great. It's a poor design choice. It's really just not helpful for players. If you don't want it as a quest marker, then at the very least have it as a location on the map. At least have it marked as location. I'm not asking for much, I'm just asking for a little bit of convenience for the players. It's not hand-holding, it's just making their lives a little bit better. I'm also aware of a couple other things. One, maybe I should be higher than level 14 for this. I guess we'll see. And two, we can gather allies for the final confrontation. Gathering allies for this, I believe the intention is for you to make use of the mod author's other mods, which they recommend playing with anyway, Mythos and Citizens of Tamriel, both of which include new followers. 
if I were using those, I would absolutely make use of it, or at least would make use of the followers. The reason I'm not is I started on it, and with Mythos, one of the companions, you need to be past level 50 to complete their quest, and I just did not see that happening without a lot, a lot of cheating. I mean, I guess if I'm willing to cheat to get to level 14 using console commands, then really do I have any major hang-ups about doing it for level 50? Not so much, it's just more so that it becomes really tedious at that point. I think this is it, but there's also no real clear transition zone either. Yep, there it is. It doesn't tell you entering the cave, it's just like, oh, alright. Walk into cliff sides and see if anything happens. Fortunately, it did. What is it? Oh, very well. Tell me about yourself. Hmm? Oh, I suppose you've earned that much. There hasn't been much time for idle chatter. There is a great deal to tell, but I doubt you would understand most of it. Or care. Live as long as I have. It just... falls away. What is the anolum to you? Beyond wanting to avenge Quentin? Hmm. It was his endless requests for my expertise. Specializing in the arcane, you see that brought me here in the first place. In the time you knew him, I'm sure you noticed a fervor of sorts. He was always consumed by his work, but we all are in the end. This creature, whatever she truly is, that was his big question, though. What do you mean? No matter the area of expertise, every scholar has one. That mystery that keeps them awake at night. A goal that's been left painfully unfulfilled. It drives even the best of us mad in pursuit of it. Perhaps he, and I, are already, but you have to find the answer. It's as if there is no other choice, whatever the cost. What was Quentin like? <laughs> Stubborn as Malakath, and often just as much a pain in the ass. But he was brilliant, truly brilliant. Not that many acknowledged it. That whole ordeal back in Academy was something I learned of much later. I was probably stuck in some meeting with the Houses of Blacklight. We were both still quite young then, full of ideas. A desire to see them through. <sighs> but even after what happened, he still just kept going. He didn't deserve to die like that. I'm sorry. Yes. So am I. But now we stand poised to deal with the harpy who claimed him. Drive that dagger deep. The Anolim deserves it. One thing I'll say is I am not going to tell her I'm ready. I'm going to go see if I can tell uh, Quentin's strange love that he's dead. Probably not, but I want to check for myself. Fortunately, this is... It's marked as well as I can mark it while standing close to it. If I come back here a little bit more and just move that... Yeah, still too close. Walk down the road a little bit more... Maybe... Because it's like right... Uh, Alright, what if I do that and then... Boom. Boom. Perfect. Or at least perfect enough. Well, she's not here, but I guess that makes sense because it did sound like she wasn't staying for very long. But I guess she's just gone from the world now, potentially? I could always check the Winking Skeever, but this I mod doesn't really add new like homes. You. Then I took an arrow in the knee. So I don't when think I was a young she rascal, has I broke a, man's arm with a, single punch. a home or anything course, here either. I'll check there for the sake of uh, being thorough, but I was really hoping that I could have someone else feel I'm bad about Quentin's death. She got to, um, actually no, we never even really got to tell Quentin how she felt. So yeah, just everyone lost out there. Fresh fish. Although I will say, floor. if I was him, I would not have forgiven her. A lifetime Spice of torment and uh, professional mocking? No, I'm not just going to say, Oh, all's forgiven just because you said you actually love me. Come on in, just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold out. Oh. 
You look like someone who can hey. hold their liquor. No, How I about can't. A friendly contest to win a staff. I'm already twisted up in a whole Fletching weird mishmash adventure. I don't tedious, need another one. But a well made. Now I am ready. Perhaps, maybe. Are you sure? There is no turning back once we do this. And I doubt there is a single soul that knows what awaits us there. If anything, I would feel bad bringing a companion for this. Someone who's not already wrapped up in the Anolim schemes. Could you really subject someone to what you're going through with the mark without them really knowing or understanding what's going on? Yes, the Anolim ends here. Very well. I have managed to find where the runestone leads. Send word to any allies who wish to join us to meet there. And, ancestors willing, we can put this matter to rest. Oh. We're here. Unmarked cave where? Oh, it doesn't even tell me where on the map. I mean, I know she said past... Winterhold and everything, but very sudden. The runestone feels as if it's about to shatter. Because I can't leave, can I? No. <laughs> no, I just wanted to check. I just wanted to see. The runestone feels as if it's about to shatter. Are you certain about this place? Or this is the place? It has to be. Doesn't look like much on the outside. But whatever's waiting for us within... You must stay on your guard. I refuse to let this end the same way. That wench has had her fun. We should move. Then lead on. I'll follow on behind. I'm wondering if we'll find any other marked people or any more of those kind of like sleeper agents. Because what need does she have for a fire, for all these supplies in the end? Even her appearance as a Bosmeri woman is just that, an appearance. Or at least that's what it sounded like, at least. Oh, here we go. Ominous, glowing, red ruins. Lot of, uh, skeletons. This is absolutely the place. Hmm. Well. What do you think? Oh, are you not going to be able to climb over that now? This has to be it. The runestone is getting too hard to control. Do you see a keyhole of some kind? No. But perhaps there isn't meant to be one. Here. Take it and see what you can do. Enter the abyss. Which, here's the thing, I wouldn't know that there is an abyss yet. Oh, that's not terrifying at all. I'm gonna, is there gonna be a jump scare? Don't jump scare me, game. Please don't. I don't like this. I'm going to get scared. I'm going to scream, Quentin. Oh, hey, buddy. Hmm. No, that's not right. Perhaps I could try the annals again. Quentin? Ah, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Not too bad, is it? Could use some more decorations, but I've been in worse spots. I'm just trying to remember where I put that book. Oh, well... I don't understand. How can this be? How can what be? You mean the wine vintage? I'll admit, it's not exactly to my taste, but it's better than nothing, I suppose. Still, we have been on the road for quite some time, haven't we? We could use a moment to put our feet up. Oh, he doesn't know what's going on. This isn't real. You. You're dead. Dead? Preposterous! <laughs> Didn't I ever tell you that I would die in some vineyard by the sea with Jessamine by my side? Either you were drinking too much, or perhaps I accidentally mixed the ingredients while preparing dinner last night. I... Come, come! No need to stand on ceremony, yes? We've earned more than enough after publishing that book. I even hear the Sigic monks have even taken an interest in our travels. 
<coughs> oh no. You mean the Anolum? Yes, yes. All that and more, my friend. We make quite the duo, you and I. But... Stop being so stubborn. I really must show you around my new home. <coughs> Are you all right? You have a little bit of a cough. Yes, yes, uh, of course. I just... <coughs> <coughs> It's awkward without seeing any animations at all. Quentin, let me... It's nothing. <coughs> no. No. So, here you are. I've come to stop you. Hmm. That remains to be seen, doesn't it? But you have spent considerable resources bringing others on this errand. Only time will tell whether they were worth that risk. I intentionally didn't bring anyone at all. I don't like this. Once again, gonna be a jump scare. I'm waiting for it. Oh. Oh? Oh god. Okay, I see her up there, so she can't scare me this time. You have come so very, very far. It has been intriguing to watch you struggle against fate. What have you done with the others? They are unharmed. There's only one other. For now, at least. Although they may find their current location rather disorienting. Why did you save me to begin with, if all you were going to do is try to kill me? You think the mark is intended to be your death. Far from it. It has merely been a means to an end. It was made exceedingly clear to you at the time that there was a debt and the time would come for it to be paid. Tell me, why all of this? What was it all for? Hmm, not yet, I think. But you are beginning to understand. No, I'm not. <laughs> what am I understanding here? Stormcloak soldiers. Imperials. Many of the dead here are ancient. From a time before even humans walked unknown. Some of them, however, will look familiar. What are you talking about? For every one of your achievements, did you not stop to think that there would be a price in turn? You have come far since you climbed out from among the dead, and in doing so, only strengthened this pact, whether you were willing to or not. You even thought to strike me down yourself, an admirable pursuit, but as with all those before you, a fool's errand. Let me go, I want no part in your games. It is far too late for that. Some part of you must realize this. Despite all your efforts, everything you have done. So why don't you just kill me and be done with it? <laughs> there is still one last choice to be made. In the end, I will have my due. Oh, we're back here, are we? Here you emerged, and perhaps here you shall return. What are you talking about? I have watched you for a long, long time, since you were brought into this world, as would all the disciples that have stood where you now do. For everyone that fell before you, every enemy slain, 
every adversary conquered, it sent a ripple out across the cosmos. A ripple that led straight here. I don't understand. Mortal kind delight in the meaning they project upon the cosmos. Presuming that things are as they perceive. The truth is far more complicated than that. And there is far worse to fear than death. I don't fear death. I fear you. Kneel over in pain, clutch in your chest. The mark that you bear is a well. As you have gone about your travels, grown stronger, so too has its hold over you. Each sensation is delicious. Let me go. Each and everything in this world has a beginning. In the order of things, so too must come to the end. I'm not controlling this, by the way. This is doing this on its own. I know at this point there's not going to be a jump scare, but I'm just still waiting for one because it just really screams jump scare to me. Truthfully. Oh, I can move. Never mind. Okay, things are spinning around me. That's what it is. They fight for you. Perhaps they shall die as well. I will stop you. Now, you must make a choice. You followed each and every step of this path dutifully, your arrival perfectly timed. Follow in the footsteps of the scholar and be claimed for eternity, no longer returning to this plane. Or, should you wish to save yourself, sacrifice the others. There is no other way. Oh. Did Quentin choose to sacrifice himself so that I could live? Crawl back to your hole. Oh. Well, I heard Veldrin. Uh, where will I go? That is not something that can be easily explained. The mark, however, will be removed. Why should I trust anything that you have to say? Because there is no reason to lie. Your time has come. Your use is at an end. But such things cannot be left unresolved. What will happen to the others? Each of them walks a different path. And that destination is not wholly my own to determine. But as with you, they will not return to the world. I... need to think. Time in this place is no longer relevant, but your path, at least, is at its end. Can I... Is Veldrin here? No, I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else here. I absolutely they heard her. You. Perhaps they shall die. Okay, I heard well. her again. She's out here somewhere. I don't think... Yeah, no, there's invisible walls. I can't go anywhere else. They fight for you. All right, let me skip forward to the other dialogue. So this is it? There's no other way? Your resolve is admirable. It is what drew much interest to begin with. But fate binds all in the end. I have made my decision then. Then speak and let it be done. Yeah, there she is again. I will go with you. I do not wish to see them harmed. As you wish. Be still, mortal, and do not be afraid. One end leads to infinitely more beginnings. The mark no longer ails you, and your true form is finally free. As the last glimmer of light recedes, you feel darkness wash over you, and even sound itself does not reach you here. You cannot see, and yet you feel your senses adjusting to the murk around you. Glimpses of all that is and was, everything you have done, appearing only for an instant. 
Perhaps this is the end, or the beginning of something new. Either way, thanks for playing Redux. Oh god. Um. Hello? Oh, okay. Literally nothing. I saw someone say, wow, that's it in the abyss, and now I kind of see what they mean. You can't tell, but I'm walking forward right now. You can't see, but this is me walking forward. If I look down, you can very briefly see like a glimpse of my armor, I think, and that's about it. Exciting. Real, real fun. Okay. Let me see what happens if I sacrifice my friends. If anything, I almost feel like they told you to bring companions to make that a harder decision. If anything, there was really no reason to bring companions other than to do this thing of like, Oh, well, do you want to kill them? They fight for you. Perhaps they shall die as well. I want to see what happens if I let my friends die. Now, you must... You follow... Follow in... Or, should you wish to save your time in this place is no longer relevant, but your path, at least, is at its end. I also was hoping that I could go through more of these dialogue options when I chose the second one. I've come this far, I refuse to be stopped now. Gnash your teeth and curse, if you must. There is no way out. The end has come. I've made my decision. Then speak, and let it be done. Well... Bye, Veldrin. So be it. The mark is removed, and your path is now your own, mortal. We shall not meet again. And then you sacrificed Veldrin like the absolute dick that you are. I don't feel any better about myself. Well, that's Redux. I kind of wish I had gotten a little like, oh, thank you for playing Redux for this. I guess the mod author almost considers uh, the self-sacrifice to be the canon ending then. But hey, no mark. Look at that, I just jumped up from uh, what? 150 health to 230? God damn. Thank you for watching Skyrim Redux here on Skyrim Saturday. This is a mod that was recommended to me and, as I said earlier, it really went under the radar for myself and a lot of other people. Ultimately, Redux was a mixed bag for me for a lot of different reasons. It's a mod filled with a lot of good ideas, some of which are executed well, others not so much. To begin my review, let's start by talking about the mod page, and the mod author's approach to creating Redux. The very first line on the mod page is that it's supposed to be a unique, fully voiced overhaul of the main quest, adding a campaign designed to play to Skyrim's strengths as an open world sandbox. And frankly, I find this a bit misleading. This adds a new quest line, yes, but I would hardly call this a main quest. This was shorter than any of the guild quest lines, even shorter than the College of Winterhold. And, frankly, that's over in two seconds. Their goal was to allow for the new questline to run parallel to vanilla content, to play to Skyrim's strengths as an open-world game. Their belief was that being hailed as the Dragonborn would put you at odds with being able to do all the different guilds already in the game, and that by starting you off with this alternate start and giving you a new questline as a part of that, you might have more freedom as a player. I, for one, really love the idea of an alternate start mod giving you a full questline based around your introduction, which can serve as a new tutorial of sorts to the game and the world. For me personally, I had no interest in doing the guilds in this playthrough since, one, I've done all of them a dozen times already over the years, and two, you gave me this incredibly strong debuff to my health, so I'm gonna prioritize that and getting answers to what's going on with the Analum. With how much the mod mentioned player freedom, I thought we might have a bit more in terms of player choice. One example is during the auction quest, where I went out of my way to try and find different stealth options or ways to get out of there without killing the host, but in the end there didn't seem to be one. 
And ultimately, any previous choices that we did make during the mod didn't seem to impact that final confrontation with the Anolum either. Bringing companions for that final confrontation really felt like it was encouraged just so you could feel guilty about killing them off. And if you did bring unique companions from other mods, and you chose to kill them to save yourself, well, you just lost out on their content, their quests, etc. That, or you choose to exist in the Abyss, and you've essentially just gotten locked out of the game anyway. On top of that, the lack of quest markers or even map markers was less than ideal at times. And in the end, a lot of the design choices for this mod felt like the author was telling you the correct way to play the game, rather than really letting play your own way. Personally speaking, this is not a mod that I can see a lot of people wanting in a permanent mod list. It feels too restrictive, if anything. From the insane health debuffs to losing companions or being given a game over screen, this is a mod that feels much more at odds with Skyrim's sandbox nature, if anything. We're introduced to the Anolum and their influence on people across the world, but we don't learn anything about them in the end. We had a new mythical being created for us, only for it to be kinda cryptic about how us killing people is bad for the world. It doesn't feel like we accomplish much, or even learn much in the mod. It ends on a really unsatisfying note. That was a lot for negatives, I guess that was a little bit longer than I really expected. As for the positives, there are still several for this mod. Some of the voice acting was really well done, and I really grew to like characters such as Quentin and Veldrin. Writing-wise, some of them were really well done too. If anything, I wanted more time with some of these characters, as it felt like we lost them way too quickly. In the case of Veldrin, you really only know her for a couple of quests, and for that reason, it's probably not too hard for the player to choose to sacrifice her in order to save themselves. I do appreciate that the mod doesn't make too many changes to the base game, so it should work pretty well with a lot of other mods out there. New questlines can sometimes be a nightmare for compatibility, but Redux shouldn't have too many conflicts in the end, which is always really nice. In the end, I had fun with this. It was a cool little one-off questline, but it's not something I'd ever want in a permanent load order or playthrough. It tells a new story, but not anything that strictly feels like it fits into Skyrim specifically. But let me know what you think. And if you've played the mod yourself, I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time, here on Skyrim Saturday.